Hi there, I'm Dr. Alan Snow. I'm the founder and CEO of Cognitive Clarity Incorporated. Today we're going to talk about specific polyphenols in the plant cat's claw from the Amazon rainforest cross the blood-brain barrier and reduce brain plaques, tangles, and inflammation. This will be a fascinating talk on the role of polyphenols that we discovered in cat's claw to actually get into the brain and reduce the trilogy of memory loss, which is brain plaques, tangles, and inflammation. Plaques, tangles, and inflammation, PTI, is the real cause of memory loss. In normal aging, starting in our early adulthood, there is an increased accumulation in the brain of two major neurotoxic proteins. The first one is beta amyloid protein that forms between neurons and creates these meatball-like aggregates known as amyloid plaques. Plaques in the brain will block connections between neurons so that they cannot communicate as well with each other, leading to memory loss. The second neurotoxic protein is the tau protein. It forms spaghetti-like strands inside neurons called tangles. Tangles inside neurons contribute to their death. And the third and most important factor is neuroinflammation, that is inflammation in the brain. Together with plaques and tangles, known as PTI, plaques, tangles, and inflammation, leads to accelerated memory loss. On February 6, 2019, we published a major paper in Nature Scientific Reports in which we demonstrated that the Amazon rainforest plant, Uncaria tomatosa, or cat's claw, and its specific polyphenols and proanthocyanidin constituents were potent inhibitors and reducers of both brain plaques and tangles. This 109-page paper represented over 10 years of research from eight different institutions, including Cognitive Clarity Incorporated Research Labs. PTI-703 cat's claw, from Uncaria tomatosa, which is a specific concentrated cat's claw that we make in our product called Percepta, was found to be a potent inhibitor and reducer of both plaques and tangles, as shown by in vitro screening and in animal models. It also was shown to be a potent reducer of brain inflammation. We have exclusive and patented proprietary ingredients and all of our Percepta products, which are gonna tell you about a little bit later. Uncaria tomatosa is a woody vine that grows up to 200 feet long in the Amazon rainforest. It contains alkaloids and polyphenols. And cat's claw has been known for a long time to have potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. The oxindole alkaloids were discovered about 20 years ago and thought to play a role in enhancement of the immune system. In the early 2000s, my research team at the University of Washington first discovered that the bark of cat's claw contains polyphenols and proanthocyanin ingredients that have potent plaque and tangle inhibitory and dissolving activity in the brain. PTI-00703 cat's claw, that's a specific concentrated form of cat's claw that is proprietary, was found to disrupt and dissolve preformed beta amyloid protein, 1 to 42 fibrils, in vitro nearly instantly. As seen in B, this is conga red staining of A-beta fibrils, demonstrating the classic red-green birefringence as viewed under polarized light. When you add cat's claw to the beta amyloid fibrils, it completely starts to dissolve it and break it apart. And this is seen by a loss of conga red staining as shown in figure C. In figure D, we show thioflavin S fluorescence of beta amyloid fibrils in vitro. And you see these green blobs, they're showing the presence of fibrils as shown by thioflavin S fluorescence. In the presence of cat's claw, the beta amyloid fibrils fall apart, and you see a loss of thioflavin S fluorescence as shown in figure E. At the electron microscopic level, as shown in figure F, you could see amyloid fibrils 
that are these small fibrils of about 10 to 12 nanometers in diameter. Following accumulation with PTI 703 cat's claw, the amyloid fibrils are dissolved and you don't see anything, no fibular material left, just amorphous material as shown in G at the electron microscopic level. What these studies show is that the cat's claw is able to disaggregate, disrupt, and dissolve the main protein found in amyloid plaques known as the beta amyloid fibrils. PTI 703 cat's claw was also able to disrupt and disaggregate preformed tau tangles consisting of twisting paratelical filaments. As shown in G, this is a circular dichroism spectroscopy study. CD spectroscopy looks at the secondary folding of proteins that is proteins that are either in a beta sheet, alpha helix, or random coil, or flatline due to amorphous material. The tau protein, when it forms paratelical filaments, shows a characteristic dip at 218 nanometer wavelength. This is characteristic, as you see in the black bar here, that goes down to 218, characteristic of a beta sheet secondary structure. A beta sheet secondary structure makes the tangles very insoluble. The same thing happens in amyloid plaques in the brain. They're very insoluble fibrils and they consist of a beta sheet predominant secondary structure. Now the interesting thing that we see in G is that as you add the cat's claw to the insoluble tangles, they start to fall apart. And you can see this at the electron microscopic level shown here on H. So in the first figure, you see tau tangles, twisting filaments, and you're adding increasing amounts of cat's claw, and you start to see dissolving of the tangles and the paired helical filaments. This is also proven in G that you're getting a flattening of the beta sheet curve when you're adding the cat's claw. So the cat's claw is basically disrupting or dissolving and changing the beta sheet secondary zipper basically that keeps it very insoluble to something that's falling apart and becoming amorphous material. So this is the result that you're looking with any type of therapeutic to go against tau tangles. You want it to break apart, you want it to fall apart, and cat's claw is able to do so, and we show it in a dose-dependent manner as shown in figure G. One of the major questions we wanted to find out is, does the polyphenols in cat's claw actually penetrate the blood-brain barrier and get into the brain parenchyma? Surprising to us, we found that using a radio-labeled polyphenol fraction that is found in our cat's claw, we found that after being in the blood to get into the brain in two minutes. And using a proprietary method of radio labeling by Moravec Biochemicals, we actually radio labeled the hydrogen on the aromatic ring. So we're not labeling the OH that's coming off the ring that could fall off. We're labeling the intact hydrogen on the actual aromatic rings of polyphenols. This was performed at Abacastin's laboratory, at Blood Brain Barrier Laboratory, at the Pennington Biomedical Research Center at Louisiana State University. And he used a capillary depletion method, that is washing out the capillaries before we put the radio label polyphenols in the blood in both CD1 mice and sprog dolly rats. And within two minutes, as shown in E here, we see that the polyphenols of cat's claw actually enter the brain, they cross over, and they're found in the brain parenchyma and cortex within two minutes and seen at five minutes, 10 minutes, and 20 minutes. One of the things that we found is it is not in the capillary, the meth, it's not in the capillaries because we washed out the capillaries. We wanted to make sure that the radio label was not found in the capillaries that are in the brain. So the capillary fraction did not contain the radio label. The radio label was found in the brain parenchyma itself. So what this showed is that the cat's claw polyphenols can get into the brain parenchyma and cortex within two minutes of being in the blood and is not found in the capillary fraction. 41% of the initial dose stayed in the brain for 24 hours. 
and this is shown in figure D. So Vasa, once a day dosing seems to be appropriate for anything to do with taking cat's claw to get into your brain. And rats and mice are the hardest blood-brain barriers to penetrate, much harder than in humans. So when we saw that the polyphenols are in the brain in both mice and rats, we found that this is very encouraging for all the studies that we do to suggest that PTI cat's claw is very important for brain health. We also did a number of innovative animal model studies in which we used genetically engineered mice that once they reach the age of three to four months old, they start accumulating plaques in the brain. So shown here in figure A, the A and B top panels are two different transgenic mice at about four to six months of age that show amyloid plaques in the brain as these green blobs shown by positive thioflavin S fluorescence. Following three months of treatment with peripheral administration of the main constituent in cat's claw, C and D shows a marked reduction in the brain amyloid plaque load. When we actually quantitated this, it was about a 58% reduction in brain amyloid plaque load following three months of treatment with the major component in cat's claw. These animals, once they start accumulating brain plaques, also have short-term memory deficits. We could pick this up by Morris water maze testing, which is a form of testing in a swimming pool in which the mouse is led to a hidden platform that comes out of the swimming pool. So we teach them for a week how to get there. And then we take away the platform they're supposed to remember and use spatial recognition or short-term memory as to how to get to the platform. So the ones that start accumulating brain plaques, as shown in the blue bars, they start to get a deficit and it takes them longer to get to the platform. So it's measured in distance and meters and also we time it in seconds and how long it takes to get there. So a non-transgenic animal as shown in the white bar over here only takes 2.5 meters to actually get to the platform. So it's very quick, very quick to get there. The blue, the blue bar shows that it takes longer in the transgenic animals that have plaques in their brain. Following three months of treatment with cat's claw, we see a marked improvement in short-term memory deficits as shown by the purple bar. There's about a 58% improvement in short-term memory as determined by Morris water maze testing following three months of treatment with the main constituent in cat's claw. And that's shown here in figure B. What about neuroinflammation? Does the cat's claw actually reduce neuroinflammation in the brain in these animals? And the answer is yes. As shown here in C, astrocytosis, which is picked up with a antibody against GFAP, glial fibular acidic protein, we could show here in A, there's a marked enhancement of astrocytes around the plaques that are accumulating in the brain. But following three months of treatment with cat's claw, as we reduce the brain plaques, we're also reducing neuroinflammation, including, including astrocytosis, which in C, it's actually down by 69%. The other part of neuroinflammation is microgliosis. That is the microglia in the brain start accumulating once the plaques are being deposited in the brain. So following three months of treatment with Caskal, we see that microgliosis goes down by 80%. So there's a marked reduction in neural inflammation due to the main constituent in cat's claw that gets into the brain, reduces the brain plaque load, improves memory, and reduces neural inflammation. So it's hitting many of the targets of memory loss as shown in this animal model. The main components in PTI-703 cat's claw discovered to interact with both A-beta fibrils, that is the main A-beta component or beta amyloid component present in amyloid plaques, and the tau tangles are pro-anthocyanidins. These are polyphenols consisting of epicatechin dimers, and they form a, what's called the hydroxyl wedge to interact directly with both 
the beta sheet secondary structure of the plaques and the beta sheet secondary structure of the tangles. Now these are the six components that we identified in PTI 703 Cat's Claw. We spent a year working with New Zealand Crop and Food Research, University of Otago in New Zealand, and we determined that chlorogenic acid, epicatechin, and epicatechin dimers are present in Cat's Claw, and these are the constituents that are interacting mainly with the beta amyloid plaques and the tau tangles. Now, one of the most interesting things is that the identification of these dimers showed us, if you look at C, and you'll see aromatic rings and then two OH groups coming off of it, these two OH groups actually line up to form four OH groups on one side, as shown here where the arrows are. And we could see that they line up and form a hydroxyl wedge, I call it that actually goes into a very zipper, insoluble beta amyloid fibril or a tau tangle that's consisting of a pair of helical filament and basically makes it unzip, unravel, and fall apart. And that's what we showed in our circle dichrosin spectroscopy studies, that when we added the cat's claw, something in the cat's claw was making the fibrils and tangles fall apart. That is basically dissolve, unravel, and get from a beta sheet secondary structure, which is very insoluble, to amorphous material that has no secondary folding structure and basically falls apart. Once it falls apart in the brain, the microglia are able to take it out and basically clean it up. And so the fascinating discovery is that we've identified proanthocyanins B2, C1, and C4 that have a profound impact by being in cat's claw, getting into the brain, and forming a hydroxyl wedge with not like two OH groups, right? It actually has four OH groups on one side, unzips, goes in as a wedge, unzips the very insoluble fibrils that makes them fall apart, and once it falls apart, it's being cleared out of the brain. So this is an amazing contri contribute of the constituents that are in cat's claw that are able to get into the brain and cause basically plaques and tangles to fall apart and get cleared out. That's an amazing finding. So based on this 10 years of research and all these discoveries regarding PTI 703 cat's claw, which is basically our proprietary concentrated form of cat's claw. We developed a product that's on the market, in the marketplace, and it's called Percepta. Percepta is the world's first dietary supplement to actually target brain plaques, tangles, and inflammation known as PTI. PTI is the main reason we lose memory as we age. And it's really the trilogy of memory losses, plaques, tangles, and inflammation. So Percepta is a patented blend of just two ingredients, and that is cat's claw and a specific oolong tea extra called memory tea. We did a lot of research also on different teas and their effects on plaques and tangles. And we found that oolong tea, which is partially fermented, is better than green tea, which is unfermented, and black tea, which is fully fermented or fully oxidized. And so for some reason, the oolong tea, when you partially ferment the actual leaves, and they all come from the same leaves, Camellia sinensis, when you partially ferment it, you get a different polyphenol content that seems to work better on plaques and tangles than green tea and black tea. And so we have patented compositional matter patents that are issued in the US in 2019 and 2022 that demonstrate that Percepta and its two ingredients are very important for memory support and targeting brain plaques and tangles. So we have US patents that are issued for methods of use for the treatment of plaques and tangles in mammals with the cat's claw oolong tea combination. We're also working on another product, a perceptive memory snack for aging dogs, because aging dogs also and cats also have memory loss just like humans, and they get plaques in the brain just like humans as well, and then they have memory loss just like humans. 
We also have Percepta. So Percepta is now being sold on Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and you can get it on our website at www.perceptibrain.com. We have patents issued throughout the world. We have 34 patents in our portfolio that pertain to Percepta products and ingredients with 10 issued patents. We have patents issued in Japan, China, Singapore, and Canada. And we have Health Canada approval for the ingredients for Percepta for memory support. And basically these are, take two capsules once a day, make sure it's consistent. And we believe that within about 30 to 90 days, you're gonna see a marked uh, support and improvement in both memory, focus, and concentration. And a lot of it has to do with the research that is done behind this product. We have over 15 years of scientific studies and two major papers that were published in Nature Scientific Reports, one of the top 10 journals in the world. In 2021, we published a major paper in Nature Scientific Reports in which we show that Percepta outperformed the top 20 selling memory support dietary supplements by greater than 50% in targeting brain plaques and tangles. And this, the title of this paper in the top 10 medical journal was In Vitro Comparison of Major Memory Support Dietary Supplements for Their Effectiveness in Reduction Inhibition of Beta Amyloid Protein Fibrils and Tau Protein Tangles key primary targets for memory loss. And what we showed is that Percepta could outperform all these top 20 selling support, memory support dietary supplements by greater than 50%, including Prevagen, Nereva, Alpha Brain, Focus Factor, and many others of the top 20 selling memory support dietary supplements. If other supplements for memory support had polyphenols in them, they had some activity as expected against plaques and tangles. However, Percepta with its proprietary patented cat's claw and its specific oolong tea extract, which is better than green tea or black tea in targeting brain plaques and tangles, had the most effective effects on reducing plaques and tangles as shown on a comparison basis as demonstrated by in vitro screening. So this paper received a lot of support and we can show and we have shown that Percepta is probably the best dietary supplement for memory loss on the marketplace today. To conclude, we have developed the world's first dietary supplement for targeting plaques and tangles in the normal aging brain, and that our product is called Percepta. Percepta consists of PTI-703 cat's claw, Uncare tomentosa, a specific and natural plant extract from the Amazon rainforest that was identified by us as a potent inhibitor and reducer of both A-beta fibrils, beta amyloid protein fibrils found in amyloid plaques, and tau protein filaments that are usually paratelical filaments found in neurofibrillary tangles. Thus it hits both plaques and tangles. Structural elucidation studies identify constituents within PTI-703 cat's claw responsible for the beta amyloid fibril and the tau tangle reducing activity to be specific polyphenols and proanthocyanidins. Proanthocyanidins are epicatechin dimers, including proanthocyanin B2, B4, and C1. Blood brain barrier studies indicated that the major components of PTI 00703 cat's claw entered the brain parenchyma within two minutes after being in the blood. Proanthocyanin B2 administered to older beta amyloid plaque producing transgenic mice within three months reduced beta amyloid plaque load by 58.2% with memory improvement by 58, by 57.8% nearly back to normal as seen in non-transgenic mice. Neural inflammation that includes astrocytosis and microgliosis 
was reduced by 69% and 80.3% respectively within three months of treatment of the main constituent of cat's claw. Circular dichrosin spectroscopy studies revealed these polyphenol molecules that had adjacent hydroxyl groups on two adjacent aromatic rings that is found in the proanthocyanidins form a hydroxyl wedge to markedly reduce the beta sheet secondary conformation of insoluble beta amyloid fibrils found in plaques and tau protein paired helical filaments found in tangles. Please purchase and try Percepta today at Amazon.com, Walmart.com, or at our website at www.perceptabrain.com. I'm Dr. Alan Snow. I'm the founder and CEO of Cognitive Clarity Incorporated, and thanks for listening to my presentation all about the discoveries of Percepta and its polyphenol and proanthocyanin ingredients and effects to improve your memory and help your brain health. Thanks a lot for listening.